Welcome back everybody to week two of our Champions League group stage. Um, so this week we are playing the second round of games. And as you can currently see, we are sitting in second place, which is excellent. Um, scored 10 and conceded 6. So our goal difference is plus 5, so we need to try to get that up maybe. And hopefully we can aim for that top number one spot. Today we are playing FC Velmade. So let's hop on the plane and fly over to them. And let's get ready and sit our squad out for today's game. <laughs> So I think the team we're going to set out is pretty standard what we've been playing recently. Parkinson is the man on form again with the flame on fire morale. Let's have a look at his stats. Yeah, he's on fire this season. Nine and eight in the nine goals, eight assists in the league, four goals, five assists in the Champions League. So he's performing excellent. And uh, then should we go with Clayton? Because obviously Spavin's played this. Yeah, I'm going to go with Spavins, I think, to the first half. Just because he played really well in that last game. And I feel like he deserves his spot up front. Obviously, Clayton, we can bring on if needs be. Uh, Hayford, Black, Irish in midfield, I think looks good to me. And then the normal back four. Tactics through the middle. Let's have that to mixed for the time being. And normal mentality for attacking. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that team. But yeah, let's get straight into the first game. So looking at the ratings, they're 42% compared to our 48%. We actually dropped slightly low with Spavins in the squad, but that's all right. Um, they've been they've won, they've won the last game, but they've been in quite a bad uh, run of games. There's quite a few losses in there. So depending on what sort of FC Vell may turn up today, we could be looking at a good result for us. I believe I think the last game was 4-2. I think it was on the Friday we beat them. So hopefully we'll repeat that. There we go, Haddo Kagavas that. Hopefully we're going to repeat that game performance. 133,000 fans in attendance. Well, so got a really big stadium. We should check on ours after this game, actually. See if the seats have upgraded or not. Might be tomorrow they're done. Mugillo straight into Spavins. Can Spavins beat his man with a bit of pace? Not quite. Good acceleration there, but uh, number three intercepts. Parkinson with the corner into the box. It drops, but their number two clears. We intercept in midfield. Spavins plays into McGillow. McGillow pushes out in front and he gets a shot away, but it hits off their centre back. Who's their number two? Dep Depe. This is another strong start to the first half. There goes an attack. Morgillo playing that central role. Not sure why. Um, but yeah, then we lose out there. Can we can't quite snatch it back? Right to stand his man up. Yeah, there we go. They couldn't really create anything there. They still had quite a bit of possession, but. No breakthrough for them as of yet. Do good, solid defensive work. We love to see. Maybe we'll put our uh, four wingers just to be a bit more attacking in the second half. But they've not actually got a lot through them at the moment. Mono Keane is standing man up. I think it was Irish, sorry. See, the formation's really weird because I don't know why Irish is out at right back defending when it should be Mono Keane. Here goes Hayford inside the Spavins, up to black, but not quite. Yeah, our players seem to be sort of just like all over the place. They don't really seem to be sticking to the position. Hayford running again. He can't find anyone forward. He has to go back. It looks like we lose out there. Yeah, I'm not too sure why our, our midfield, or some of our wingers seem, seem to be floating all over the pitch. I'd much rather them sort of stick to their position. You can see Parkinson coming all the way inside to the opposite side of the wing near enough to try to get on the ball. Stand him up there, ball in, but number four clears. Yeah, that's black all the way back in there defending. Goes Hayford again, see no Parkinson up for support. Parkinson's gone central. Hayford can he sling the ball in, I'm hoping. He's gone all the way down to the byline, into Parkinson, back to Taylor, into Spavins. Go round his man. Oh, he can't quite finish. Then number three gets back to make a great tackle. But again, you can just see that Spavins has a lot more pace up front. Here goes. No, he could can't quite do anything there. Um, let's have a look at some of our mentality. New feature that I've found <laughs> of recent. Um, so we go attacking, so mentality there before attacking focus. Taylor up to Spavins, and Spavins beat his man this time, he's going wide. 
lack of support, but he's found Morgillo central. Can he play that? Oh, Morgillo hits the pose and it bounces out and they clear. And that's straight on the half time whistle. Strong end to the second half. What is our stats here? 63% possession. Oh, oh no, we're winning. What? What happened there? Parkinson's scored in the 40th minute. That's mad. I missed that when creating them tactics. Literally, within the space of 10 seconds, I missed the goal. My bad, everybody. <laughs> That's really strange. Never even noticed. Uh, but yeah, just looking at the squad, I think we'll keep it as it is and maybe bring Clayton on soon. Nothing comes of that. Haddo kicks it long, finds Morgilla into Spavins. Can he beat his man? Oh, he just sort of chips it. I mean, he scuffs his shot and it hits over the bar. Well, I can't believe we're actually winning. That is really odd. Yeah, it's like another foul of a free kick or something because they did get yellow cards on the 40th minute as well. That's probably one of our classics hitting the wall and uh, bouncing down the path. And we've seen so many times. Ball bag. Again, we need that second goal. Parkinson free kick into McGillow. Drops over his shoulder and he fires it into the bottom right hand corner to lead 2 0. Brilliant set piece there. And McGillow let the ball come over his shoulder and then he half volleyed or volleyed it home. Excellent stuff. Let's let's put Clayton on now for Spavin too. He's had a good game. I like the use of his pace up front, but see if he can come on now, Charlie, and see this game out. I think I might drop the mentality down, actually, just back to um, just back to normal. They don't need to be defensive or anything like that. Let's actually let's try and move these back to have a five in the middle like this. Oh, then we made it 3 0 as well. Didn't miss this one too much. Clayton scores coming off the bench with um, Parkinson getting an assist. Um, so, yeah, let's play um, flat five in midfield. Should, should be more of a defensive block and hard to get through. Nothing comes with that. Right back to Keane. And Keane going forward. He tries to take his man on. Not quite. He's taking it down to the wall. Oh, that's a loose ball into the box. And, oh, Taylor found some great space inside the box, but he can't quite get his shot on target and it hits the defender. We're looking really, real threat up front today, though, which is really nice to see. Great start to the week. Stockner, I believe he played well on the, on the Friday game, actually. I think he scored, if I remember correctly. Oh, and it's offside. Well, yeah, I think he might be their main player. Lemkin to Mitchell, Stockner again inside the shuffle. Oh, and he cracks the post and it bounces all the way out to Parkinson. And he looks like he didn't want to take that on himself. <laughs> McGill again crosses it all the way, switches the play to Parkinson, but it's a loose ball, but it bounces down to right and we would cover possession. So yeah, real positive start to the week as we've got 10 minutes remaining in this game, 3 0 up. That's uh, another three points on the board to see us out of this group. Depe into Lim. Can they shuffle? But it looks like we clear that again. They just can't seem to break for our defence, to be honest. Clayton. Oh, he looks like he went for a scoop, but it just goes over the bar. Four minutes on the clock left to play. Looks like we'll be seeing this one out. Don't want to concede any goals, of course. Oh, yeah, the baddest of squads to be fair. We just played really well. Clayton mm, can't quite beat his man again. I like, I like it. it was the two in that midfield gap. But there we go. We won 3 0. Perfect start to the week. And um, as I was saying, they obviously play the two in midfield. And when we. Um, play free midfield, just overruns the midfield area when you can control the game. Control the midfield, you can control the game. So let's go into here, have a look. And yeah, we're currently sitting in second place still, even though we played more bits on that goal difference that we do not go up to top. Uh, they play at 4.14 today. Um, the 
probably win that game. They are pretty strong, to be honest. Um, even though they've had a bit of a win draw, win win draw f form, not the most, but they haven't been losing games, which is obviously important. But yeah, look look at that. We're six points clear of Budso, especially if they lose. We are sitting in a very positive position. Um, with obviously two games remaining to play. So tomorrow we obviously have Maniacs FC, which is a big game. It'd be nice to see if we can get a result with them. Uh, maybe we'll play a slightly different way, different system. I remember if we played in the second half of that 4-1. We won the second half, which is really good playing that thing. It was a bit more of a defensive display on the counter-attack. And then we played Budzo to finish it off on the 12th. Um, so yeah, just before we end this part of the episode, um, as you can see here, you can add friends and obviously you can feature in our videos. Obviously, we go to this homepage quite a bit. And if you do add us, you will appear on this page just over here. As you can see, where Mourinho is Fabio ads. And yeah, if you add us, you'll be appearing down below. Um, but there's another friend so you'll be able to see a team on here and maybe we'll challenge you to a friendly at some point in the future so it's really cool but yeah on to the next game which is on wednesday and let's gather on with this good form here we go match day two today we are playing vel oh we play maniacs fc sorry and yeah so i think today we're going to rotate the team slightly play a bit more of a defensive formation um, as obviously when we played Maniac earlier, was the first game of the, of the campaign, I believe, we obviously lost 4-1, as we can see here. Um, but yeah, we did win the second half with Parkinson scoring just after half time after we made a few changes, which was quite promising. But yeah, it was a little, bit little too late. So I think today, if we go into our squad here, we're going to play a slightly different formation. So if we take, hey, I'm going to take Hay for, for Flanagan like this and have that. Defensive midfield to sit in front of the back two like that. Our centre mid pairing of black and Irish. And then I'm going to have Parkinson drop back here as well as Morgilla like that. So we've got a flat four in front of the CDM with Clayton just on his own up here. Let's just straighten that out. And then let's go to our tactics. Let's play defensive football. Um, and should we go past and mix or down both flanks? Uh, let's, let's keep it mixed for the time being, see how things go. Um, I want to play long ball and we'll have forced counter attacks on. So I think that'll be one of our ways we'll be able to use some of our pace to be able to expose them. Tackling, marking, and we can all, all they'll be fine like that. So yeah, that's the team we'll go for today, I reckon. Let's go into our training. Let's just do a bit, a spot of training, just to get our players ready for today's game. Just a bit, we've got a better chance of winning or coming out of some sort of positive result this way. Um, so let's go with a warm up and a stretch. Pass, go shoot, and what else have we got? Let's go slalom dribble, defending, piggy in the middle, and usual head. I think would be perfect. So let's do two of these and then I will, before we play the next game, I'll quickly just make sure all our player morale and player fitness is up to standards. And yeah, we can get straight into the next game from that point. And yeah, so there are bonuses and then I'm just going to quickly go through this team, get everyone batch fit and then we'll go straight into the second game. 83% versus our 52%. Uh, Morgillo has also gone to four star recently, so... That's a nice positive for him. Back up from three. I'm working on his fifth now. See our bonuses. There they are. Let's see if they have any effect on us today. Hopefully. Um, first chance for them. Oh, look at that. Straight into the box. Played defenders can't get near. And they score. Not a great start at all. And we're giving the ball away again. Need to settle down here, spread out again. So much space out wide there. Let's, have a put, let's just drop these a little bit deeper like this. Get the ball away slightly. We can play a bit now, hopefully. Is that a loose ball? No, they still pick it up there. Ball, ball into the box and then number seven. It's on the volley and makes it 2-0. They're just so deadly, this team. Really hard to compete against them. They're much higher rated than us. 
not sure what we can do really here. Uh, let's go pass into the mix. If we go uh, attack here, this fellow is going to score loads of passes, but I'll play that in position. Here we go, Parkinson's through though here. Uh, I need to slow down too much. He's here to run direct. He needs to just be confident in that situation and trust that he's obviously scored so many goals this season. He needs to trust himself then, go with the ball. Another chance of them into the box. Not much. Oh, there you go. It's so easy. We're just giving them goals here. Try and go. I'm just going to have to put like this. A bit of flat or something like this in the middle here. They've just got so much space in the box. We are being slaughtered. It's not even that they're, they're, well, they're playing well, but I mean, we're just gifting them chances by not marking anybody in the box. All we've got marking style the zone, or I think, yeah, let's go man to man here. Mogillo going down the wing, looking for support. He's got a free ball, or he has got a free ball to Clayton, but then number 13 did get back goal side into Clayton again. No, oh, let's keep going back again. Oh, there's too much backwards football, we need to be going more direct. Forward, what we want. Parkinson, we're obviously playing deeper, so it's hard to get out. We have got the counter attack on. No, we'll be able to clear that one there, because Mogello try beat Trotman with a bit of pace. Back to Keane. I don't like this backwards passing malarkey. Into Clayton. We find an opportunity that uh, Reyes deals with that well. Couldn't quite shift it onto his right foot to have a shot. Uh, every time they come forward, they look pretty deadly. Uh, home, played on side, that one's over, luckily. <laughs> 40 minutes on the clock already. Like, like we did the first game, let's try and hopefully can win the second half. It looks like that game's sort of gone, so maybe we'll just go a bit more forward thinking in the second half. Let's just not going to see it again here. Come on. There we go. Cleared. Yeah, there we go. Um, so, what should we do? Do we go. Hmm. Plus. Like this. Let's play. Two defensive midfield. Uh, let's put like that, like this. Play two defensive midfielders and just put black just a bit more forward in midfield, like that. Put our mentality back to normal. Didn't work, unfortunately. And uh, force counter attacks off. Let's press a little bit, see if we can get anything with a bit of press. Okay, Clayton into Parkinson. Can he run with it? He has got a bit of space. He's one on one with the keeper. Takes it round him and here we go, fires it into the bottom corner, 3-1. So similar to the last game, it's just been conceded four in the first half, but straight after half time in the 50th minute, we do find a goal back. Just a bit of fight for the team, win the second half. We are playing at home, so we don't want to be demolished. Irish and Black have been have played really hard in that first half. They are quite low on stamina. So might have to do a substitute soon. No, that's really poor from Hado. He can't be scoring from there. Such a tight, acute angle. He needs to play stay into like the top left hand corner. That's really poor goalkeeping. Come on, let's see if we can have a few more chances at least. Possession. 50 50% possession. This has been really clinical. Yeah, that short of fit efficiency. Corner in. No, it can't quite drop to anyone. Unless we want to get one of our free kicks. Hit it into the wall. Clayton one on one. No, again. He needs to somehow work on that. Can we see his stats at all? Oh, skills even. Attack. 77% speed. So, yeah, he's quickish. Not massively quick, I don't know if that would be something that would improve in that situation. Home into the box and they hit it over the bar. Look at this. Who is who's tired? Irish and black. Irish in the field. We can put Hayford on for Irish. Fresh legs. Might do Charlie Black as well, he's pretty knackered. 
Um, yeah, that's a bit hard. I want as well. Just give him, give him a game. Why not? Uh, we we do have. The thing is, we don't want to lose games, but we are. You know, we've got a free chance of losing this game and not actually dropping our second, I believe. So we have lost possession here, Clayton. Ball into Parkinson. Can he even shot? He can. He made it four two. Excellent. Bit of an improvement over the last game. Let's let's go. I mean, we've lost the game, so let's just go attacking and see if we can just create anything else. Nice just to get out the fourth three, so we are look like we're competing. Oh, there we go, McGillow has weirdly scored. Went off in off the bar, didn't even show us that. Come on, that's ten minutes remaining. That was really odd. It didn't even show us a highlight. Come on, four three. Push for one more. I know they've got a red card from ten men. Parks on the free kick. Oh, I wish someone else would have taken that so it could have dropped down for them. Well, it's actually turned into a really tight game. Do I have to stick or twist? Do we? we got ultra attacking the mic ultra attacking here. We do need. We've obviously got to get a goal. Right, defend, 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 defend. There we go. At number six. Jordan Gerald of the interception. Four minutes, we just create one more chance. That'd be really good. Oh, here, here we go. Hayford into Harlow. No, nah, that's poor. Poor touch. Uh, it looks like he's swung the other way for a counter attack for them. He's gone all the way through the defence, round the keeper, and scores to make it 5 3 win for Maniac. So that's really poor defending again. Uh, that was a big, big improvement from last week's game against them. And that obviously drops our goal difference down slightly. Not too much, luckily, though. We're still in that plus six. Uh, Buds are well made. What are they playing? Are you playing? No, they are currently playing now. Currently, out of the video, we can't watch that. Um, so, yeah, even if Buds did win that, they'd only be on six points. It'd be nice if well made could pick up a point. Um, a point three points, just so Buds can't get any more. But, I mean, I've... Well, hopefully we should be through, really. We've only got one game left to play, and I'm pretty confident we'll be able to go through there. Parks are currently sitting in second on top scorer, which is really good. Seven goals, impressive. Eight assists as well, very impressive. Uh, but yeah, I forgot to do it yet the last game, but let's go have a look at our stadium here. See if we can, if the upgrade was finished. To our seats. So we can add even more... Yeah, we've got large capacity, have an extra 12,000 seats. There we go. Lovely. Five days that one, so that'll be ready next week. Increase our capacity even more. Hopefully that has a beneficial effect on our team. Um, so, yeah, ag again, not the best result, but we move <laughs> one more game this week, which I believe is on the Friday against Budzo. Finish that off, finish the week on a strong note. And yeah, well, hopefully we'll be into the is it the lot round of sixteen, and we'll see who we get there. Here we go, guys. Match day three. Uh, as you can look at the table here, we have actually progressed into the next round, which is fantastic. Um, so yeah, we're currently on nine points. Well, or Velmate or all three. So I think was it Velmate? I think got a win yesterday. Yeah, one two nil against Budzo. So yeah, they got up to third place. Uh, so it's basically a battle between who can get into like, the Europa League for Budzo and Velmade. Of course, we're playing Budzo today, so let's go straight into the squad here. So we might as well just rotate the squad, to be honest, because we're not in desperate need for a win, and we could give an opportunity for some of the other players to have a, have a match. So let's put Harlow on for Black and Flanagan on for Hayford like this. Uh, let's play 4-4-2. So let's go Hunt. So Hunt's actually got his new position. Should we play Hunt? Yeah, let's play Hunt in Cam because that's his new position. So yeah, 4 3, three. Let's play Parkinson on the left. Dan Parkinson that is. Spavins up front, Leslie in goal, and I think that's everybody switched in. Let me put these midfielders slightly a bit more tight like that. Tactics, let's, I think we're just going to keep that normal. Everything pretty standard there. 
Make sure you get all these straight in position like this. And yeah, we'll get these players an opportunity to hopefully increase their stats and or hopefully they'll perform really well and give me an option for them to play in the next round. We are less than one minute. Well, looks we're starting straight away. 36% compared to their 42. So we have dropped out rating wise, but like we said, this game's not massively important, so. I did actually do some bonuses last night, so if we were look here, four percent, four percent, four percent, and four percent. So hopefully they'll play a good advantage for us. Um, don't know if their team had that or not. I think we can see that. So the hunt into Harlow, into Morgillo, hunt up to Parkinson. He has a shot, early shot, and it's bounced back out to the keeper. They palmed it away rather than catching it. It pulls the keen who gathers the ball. Spavins picks up lost possession from Budzo into Spavins again. Can he run the line? Plays a loose ball back into Harlow, but he manages finding McGillow in the box. He can't quite jiggle his way around the defender. Positive to start though. Parkinson into Harlow again, but he's dispossessed in a really bad way. Alves is not going to cross, but it's Luna into the box. And number 13 clears Keane right into Flanagan playing down the wing. Flanagan might look to cross the ball from here down the byline. Oh, I'm not sure if they got a clear. It's all the cold people grabbed that then. Yeah, Flanagan playing out wide, trying to whip ball in. Mm, Luna. Nah, Luna makes it 1 0. Good finish by them. We've pretty much got the same back four on. I'm just going to do some work with that back four. Spavin's through. Uses his pace to get past his man. Has a shot. Yeah, he makes it 1-1. Instant reply. Well taken by Spavin's. Into the bottom left corner. Oh, and the loose ball playing out from the back here. Yeah. Just keen standing ground. Ball comes in and we'll clear. Yeah, we've got really good presenting. Possession actually 63%. I'm not sure what, what we do to have to always have quite high possession. It's odd. You'd think the stronger team would have more possession, but depending on what their tactics are, I guess. Luna, another dangerous ball that goes flashes past the goalkeeper in the six yard box, but no one can get on the end of it. 10 minutes remaining of the first half. Taylor bombing down the left hand side. Opens it up into the box, but number 11 can't get quite get on the end of that one. It'd be really cool to have like a really tall striker to win some of them headless one crosses. We do like to cross the ball quite often. Cleared again there. So I think maybe in the second half we can go a bit more through the middle and use Hunt more as a playmaker. Maybe set his mentality to attack in as well. See if you can get a bit more involved right into the box. No, can't quite find it again. Maybe we need to set these um, set piece players out in the main squad area so we have to do it every game. As we don't really want the centre back taking corners and occasionally free kicks. So let's have a look here. Mentality, hunt, attacking. And then we want to go into our. Passing as well? No, pass, so it goes passing through the middle. See if that can have any effect on us at all. Oh, we've got a penalty. Morgillo steps up. He puts it to the bottom right hand corner and we make it 2 1. Really, really good for a team that's been rotated quite a lot up front. Yeah, we will defend this. Is ball going to come into the box? It is back post. Luna sticks it back in. Yeah, a bit of a poor first delivery that. White puts in the corner, drops to Gerald, then he blasts at home. 3 1, the centre backs combine. <laughs> Maybe that's why he's taking corners, being able to get the assist for his centre back partner, but well taken goal. Who's that Luna playing? He's two and a half stars, he's been the most involved player. Bit of a threat out wide. Flanagan loses possession, Alves picks it up. Back to Salaminski. Quite tight in that area there, but we still can't. Yeah, we there we go. Getting possession back for that. So we've got a free kick. Borgillo stand over it. Puts it over and he goes straight over the bar. Couldn't quite get a dip on it there. Let's go. 
put our wide players down in here like this, make a slack four. See if we can find any. E. Let's go actually go down both flanks here. Let's see if we can have a little go of that tactic. See if that does anything else for us. Guerrero and Dillwood, we intercept. Yep, Spavins. Back to Flanagan, all the way back to right, out to Keem, straight into Flanagan. Uh, Flanagan can't quite find the pass to Spavins. 70 minutes on the clock, it's looking good for us. Maybe we can go for a little, go for a couple of subs, put some, our first team players on. Let's put Parkinson on like that. And should we go, go? I think I'm happy with Spavins. Let's go Flanagan off for Bayat. See if we can add any more goals in the last 15 minutes. Guerrero put a loose ball in. Luna puts another deadly ball in that the striker can't quite get on the end of. Parkinson going down the wing. He's going to look to cross this into black. Oh, the substitute's nearly combined into there to give us a fourth goal. Alves put offside there. We held the line well. It's in theory we could actually play like a high line sort of. We can have like the players sort of playing a high line. We couldn't have a look at that at some point to see if it makes much difference or not. Black into Taylor. Whips it into Spavins. We can't quite reach that again. We don't get a lot of success from crosses like that. Three minutes on the clock remaining. It looks like we're going to be seeing this out for a 3-1 victory. Perfect aim to the group stage. And there we go. Match ended. Awesome stuff. Look at our ratings here. Oh man, the match was more gear though. Got a couple of stats in there as well. Upgraded, which is always nice. Gerald's put, oh, look at all them stats. Passing, shooting, tackling, marking, heading, bravery. Really good. So there we go. Group stage complete. And we are into the last 16. Um, I'm guessing that draw's not done yet. No. Presume that'll probably be done by tomorrow. And we'll find out when our next game is. Obviously, that'll be in the next episode, of course. Um, yeah, so Maniacs don't play till 7.38, so I'm pretty sure we're going to have to wait for those to play, just to like, confirm where we finish in the table, even though we will be finishing in second place. But four wins, no draws, and two losses, and also two losses against Maniacs FC. 20 goals scored, we actually scored more than them, unless they score quite a few today. And yeah, we conceded 12, we actually conceded even more than Vell made, so that's something we need to look at there. Um, let's go Golden Boot. Bargain still, still looking pretty strong. Only two goals behind Montella. Um, Parkinson's leading the assists. And of course, this is the whole of the Champions League. So that's not just our group. So that's really impressive for him. And hopefully that will play for a good advantage. But we just need to tighten that defence up. Um, I think our defenders are rated pretty high. I mean, we need to get Taylor rated at slightly a bit more high. So we need to work on him for the next episode. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Like I said at the start episode though, if you feel free to add us and you can come to the side here with Fabio adds uh, Mourinho and you'll be, your team will be included in the video as we do go to this screen quite a lot. And also we can show you your team off as well if you'd like that. But yeah, let's hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and we'll get into the last 16 next Saturday.